What is going on YouTube? It's your boy Spanko and today I'm excited because I'm finally bringing you guys the full power Dino OTK deck profile for the February 2023 format. Now I know this video is kind of late but it's because I've been testing this build a lot and I really wanted to get it right for you guys and I think that I finally have it all perfect for today's format. Now if you guys enjoy these videos make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week. Five long videos five short videos you guys are gonna get a ton of different kinds of content deck profiles combo videos dual replays all that good stuff you'll find it right here on the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video thank you guys all for watching i felt so much love and support these last few weeks and i appreciate every single one of you i wouldn't be here without you guys so i hope you guys enjoyed today's video and with that let's get right into the deck profile all right, so just before we get started in today's video, I do want to say that I've been testing this deck for a while, which is kind of why it took me a while to put this up on the channel. But this build, I feel like, is insanely powerful in today's format. So let's get right into it here. We are starting off, of course, with the three soul eating Ovi Raptor. Now, if you guys have watched any of my dino deck profiles before, these ratios are essentially the same as all the other dino deck profiles because these are, in my opinion, the best ratios and the most consistent ratios a deck can play. So for that reason, I'm going to go through it really quickly. Three Ovi Raptor. Like I said, one Miscellaneousaurus, three Baby Sarasaurus, and one Petite Pteranodon, as well as two Archosaur. These are honestly just the best ratios for these monsters. Misc plus Baby is combo. Misc plus Ovi is combo. Ovi plus Baby is combo. Arco plus Baby is combo. So you guys can see all these different two card combos. And as long as you open any one of them, you can do your full combo, which is absolutely insane. And then we're playing two Ultimate Conductor Tyranno, one Pancratops, one Giant Rex, two Scrap Raptor, as well as one Scrap Chimera. So that's it for the Dino package, as well as as the scrap package keep in mind you really again when i was talking about the two card combos you really just want to draw the two card combo you don't really want to draw the two card combo plus an extra baby or plus a giant rex you don't want to draw that kind of stuff you want to draw a two card combo and you want to draw a bunch of non-engine cards because that's going to actually ultimately help you win the game right so these are the engine cards over here as well as the three fossil dig which essentially acts as another name for any of your dinos so the really cool thing about fossil dig let's say you open ov and three non-engine cards but you don't open another dino you open a fossil dig then you get to search the misc then you get to search the baby and you get your full combo going regardless so for that reason you know fossil dig obviously is a very main consistency piece and then two double evolution pill of course you only really want to be playing two once this resolves you summon conductor and you're pretty much winning the game conductors are such an insane card especially in today's format with Koshtura being around conductor is absolutely insane as long as he can hit the field you're winning the game so that's why we're playing the two double evolution pill very standard ratios over here everything else is now the non engine which is really important to be playing in today's format we're playing three imperm imperm of course is a really powerful board breaker for you if you draw it as your sixth card going second it's a very powerful card but on top of that imperm in general is really good into the sword soul matchup really good into the kosh matchup really good into the branded matchup so in general you're playing three imperm for that we're playing three nibiru nibiru is also very important into the kosh format and especially for this deck i would say kosh is one of the hardest decks to play around because your graveyard funny enough is pretty important and so when you're locked under a macrocosmo it can be pretty difficult so nibiru is one of those cards that's really important also i will say imperm is really important because if your opponent has a rise heart you can imperm the rise heart for turn and then this way you're not stuck under a macro cosmos right so it's really important to be playing these cards to break the kosh terra boards but in general these cards are good against other boards as well nib is really good into sword soul even if they put up the baron at least you're forcing out the baron negate and then this way when it comes back to your turn you can now play and not have to worry about that baron negate right so nibiru is really good in that sense and then we're playing three book of eclipse another very powerful board breaker in today's format and another reason why Tyranno is absolutely insane because if you're able to book of eclipse your Koshtura opponent and let's say they have three monsters in face down defense position and you're able to set up some sort of combo or just at least set up the Tyranno that's just insane because you're going to be able to clear the entire board and that's just with Tyranno so imagine with any other cards you're going to have on the field you'll be able to OTK super easily so for that reason we're playing three book of eclipse we're playing three dark hole now I used to be playing Raigeki in this deck but I actually think dark hole is better in today's format now I know people are going to say oh dark hole is really good with baby it is really good with baby but if you're ever in a situation where you have to normal summon baby and then activate dark hole to play it's kind of not the best situation let's be honest with each other but i will say dark hole is really good for another reason in today's format and that's because nightmare corruptor ibli is a card and that card is absolutely insane if your opponent puts that on your side of the field you don't want to have to normal summon an ov raptor let's say even if you use its effect you don't want to link it away into a link two just so you can get ibli off of your side of the field because ov has so much other applications so for that reason i think dark hole is just a lot better because it's going to be able to get rid of 
the Ibli on your side of the field. And it's just a generic board breaker that's good into a lot of decks, right? So that's why we're playing the three Dark Hole. We're playing the one Harpy's Feather Duster, of course. We want to get rid of any back row that we might see, as well as three Pot of Prosperity for consistency. Now, a card that I skipped over just now, and I'll talk about this in a second over here, right? But we're playing three Pot for consistency here. The card that I skipped over was two Triple Tactics Talent. I think this card is absolutely insane in today's format. Again, it's one of those cards that's really good into pretty much every deck right now. And that's why I really like playing the two. You could play the three and cut the Harpy's Feather Duster. I just chose to play the one Harpy's because I thought I needed some kind of main deck back row hate. And I really like Harpy's in the main deck. Again, it could always be in the side deck. So if you wanted to play a third Triple Tactics Talent, this could be the third one over here. So you should be playing this card. But another card that I was thinking of playing rather than Triple Tack is actually the three Ash Blossom in the main deck. Ash Blossom is obviously really good into Brandon because Brandon Fusion is the thing and that deck is really powerful. It's also really good into Sword Soul. It's not bad into Kashtara. So for that reason, I was thinking of main decking the Ash Blossom rather than the Talents. However, the reason I really like Talents is because it kind of acts as a change of heart sometimes for you, which can be really relevant because that can break opponent's boards. The draw two effect is nice, but honestly, the change of heart effect might be the best effect on the card. So I don't know. It's really up to you. If you guys want to play these three cards, I've been kind of back and forth. This is the only thing that I've been back and forth about is these three cards over here for these three cards over here. So that's the only thing I guess you can change. Test it out for yourself. See what you guys like. But for now, I've been playing these and I enjoy these cards right now. Right. So that's it for the main deck. 40 card main deck. Very, very consistent. Moving on to the extra deck here. We are playing two Dolka as well as one Logia. Logia is not as important as Dolka. So for that reason, we're only playing the one. If they extra deck rip the one Logia, it's not the end of the world. So it's not a problem, especially against Kostar, I should say, actually. Actually, this card isn't as powerful, so it doesn't really matter if they rip this card. So we're playing the two Doka, the one Lagia, the one Dugaris. Dugaris is like it doesn't really come up, but when it does, it's only really to help you OTK through prosperity. Otherwise, Dugaris is not that important, so that's why we're just playing the one. We're playing two Link Karibo, of course. This card's very important as well because we really do want a non-dino in the graveyard. And one of the easiest ways to get a non-dino in the graveyard is to use Link Karibo with your Arcosaur. So for that reason, a good player, if you're only playing one Link Karibo, will extra deck rip the Link Karibo because if they have any other forms disruption you won't be able to get a non-dino in the graveyard so that's why i think the two link karibos are very important one secure garden of course one pentastag two scrap wyvern you have to be playing two this is one of your main engine combo pieces and you don't want to get this ripped out so we're playing the two scrap wyvern one ip mascarena just as another link two that's just generic and pretty powerful one unicorn that you can go into with ip we're playing the one apple apple is also really good because you can go into apple with ip but generically your combo is going to end on an apple plus uh, a dolka or a logia and then a savage dragon so that's your typical combos but of course there are a lot of other combo lines where you end on ip with a scrap wyvern or ip and a pentastag and you know there's stuff like that where then you can link on your opponent's turn make an apple one access code of course to help you otk you don't really go into it that much because the deck inherently can otk without it but it's just another option for you as well as the one savage dragon that you're pretty much going to be ending your turns on if you're going first right so the really crazy thing about this deck is it can still go first even though we're playing so many go second cards this deck can still go first and full combo like i said ov plus baby is combo ov plus misc is combo arco plus baby is combo there's just so many different combos in this deck so you still can go first and be very successful with this deck it's just the really cool thing about this deck is if you are forced to go second there are so many board breaker cards that this deck can play and be very successful playing so that's it for the deck i'm very excited to be showing it to you guys because i think this deck is absolutely insane and i'm just really happy to be showing you guys this more or less finalized version of dino again the only thing that i've been kind of back and forth about is these three cards for these three cards and like i don't know it, it kind of feels good either way honestly i will say this though but just before we end the video i really like the tactics because i've noticed that there are times where i will actually choose to go first and i like the tactics going first because there are so many hand traps in today's format that if my opponent uses a veiler or an ash or any kind of hand trap this card will obviously help me draw two cards it'll push my game state a little bit further so i really do like that but again that's something i've been back and forth on that's something you guys can try out for yourselves called by the grave is another really good Good option there's so many good options that the deck can play and that's just the really cool thing about dino but yeah try it out for yourselves and then let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below so that is it for today's video i hope you guys did enjoy that is my take on dino otk for the february 2023 format now i keep saying feb 2023 i know it's going to be longer than february 2023 but it's the feb 2023 format because that's the balance we're focusing on right and with the deck profile like i said there's a couple things that you know i'm back and forth about even though i feel very strongly about this deck and this deck can go first and go second there's just so many different things about dino that just makes it so competitive in today's format i hope you guys did enjoy if you guys did make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel for more Yu-Gi-Oh! content 
content just like this one we upload five days a week here on the channel but we do a full 10 videos per week five long videos five short videos you guys are going to get a ton of different kinds of content deck profiles dual videos combo videos all that good stuff you'll find it right here on the channel so i hope you guys enjoyed with that spanko sign it out peace